cat cow. The whole point of this one is to isolate pure spine flexion extension for the whole spine. So get in position. You're going to be in kind of a table tat top situation here with your knees directly under your hips, your hands directly under your shoulders with a flat back. To round the spine into full flexion, think of an angry cat. An angry cat rounds the spine as far up towards the sky as they possibly can. Think about tucking your chin into your chest and also think about tucking your tailbone. One visualization I think of is if what would I do to try to get my nose and my groin as close together as I possibly can. So this is the fully flexed cat position, full spinal flexion. The cow is the opposite. Think about letting the belly and the base of the rib cage sag to the floor as you bring your eyes and your gaze up to the ceiling. One thing I think about here is what would I have to do to get my nose and my groin as far away from each other as I can. This is full extension or the cow position. Rolling through cat cow is simply moving from one end range, challenging it as in pushing into it as far as you can. And as you do that, make sure that your body isn't shifting around a ton. You're trying to keep this 100% isolated to just the spine. You'll notice you probably got some tight spots in your spine as you go through this motion. Going into the opposite end range, the exact same thing. Really push into it and challenge it. One thing when you're fully in cow position, making sure that your shoulders aren't doing this, I like to think of getting my shoulder blades into my back pocket, which really helps me pull my rib cage towards the floor as I also pull my chin up to the sky. One more into full cat. Think rounding everything, nose and groin together. Challenging the end range of motion. And then going into full extension, the full cow motion. Nose and groin as far away from each other as you can. 